Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are doing a shark attack look and we're going to start with some silicon sculpt gel part A and part B and we're going to take an even amount of each part and then we are going to mix them together until they're one color. Then we are going to get a white face pencil and start to map out where the bite marks of the shark would be. Next I'm going to take the mixed sculpt gel and pop it over the top of where I have drawn the bite marks. This is going to create the ripped skin effect. I'm going to use a flat brush to blend out those edges to make it seem more realistic. Then I'm going to take my spatula and start to rip up the edges on the inside of the bite mark. This will have that torn flesh effect. Then we're going to let that dry down for a little bit and then powder over the top just to take away some of that stickiness. Now we're going to go in with some foundation and I'm just going to pop foundation over my whole face as I normally would. I'm also going to put some foundation over my lips just to take out some of that pinkiness and then I'm going to go in with some concealer because I want to conceal under my eyes so I have a fresh base and I'm also going to conceal on the high points of my jaw structure and my cheekbones just to really accentuate those bones and bring them forward. Then of course I'm going to set my whole face. I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette and use the white shade and this is going to act as my matte highlighter everywhere I put my concealer for my bone structure and this is going to help with my contouring by bringing my bone structure forward. Okay, now for contouring. So I'm going to contour in between the white eyeshadow to really chisel out and make my cheeks sink. Um, I'm also going to contour on my forehead, bring those bones forward as well along the sides of my nose and I'm going to contour on the sides of my cheeks, kind of where my smile is and on the sides of my lips to help my face droop down. Also going to do some shading underneath my eyes to help bring in that sunk in effect. And I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye um, monster palette and I'm going to use the bluey grey colour and go over everywhere I've just contoured to take out that golden brown but also to make it look like kind of like a pneumonia you've been stuck in the water for too long you start to go a bit blue so I'm going to do that everywhere and then I'm also going to do that on top of my lips to really take out that colour. Then I'm going to contour the structure on my neck again to help bring it forward and to really make myself look bony and sick looking. And then I'm going to take a lot of that grey and really accentuate my eyes really make it look like they're puffy at the top but then really sunk in my eye sockets and I'm also going to do that on my eyelids as well. Then I'm going to put some mascara on because my lashes were looking a bit flat so why not put some mascara on and I'm also going to be doing my eyebrows just for like that makeup look. I probably wouldn't have eyebrow product on if I was going swimming let's be honest. Okay, now it's time for the wound. So, 
I'm going to be using the Ack Muse ink palette and some alcohol with the lightest red color to start with. These are all alcohol activated inks. And I'm going to start with a light red and color in the inside of the wound. And then I'm going to go in and do some trauma around the wound because your skin gets really irritated and red if you scratch yourself, cut yourself. So I'm assuming for a shark attack, it's going to be the same thing. Um, and I'm really gonna make the skin look irritated. Then we're gonna go in with a darker red and start to put some definition into that wound, make it look darker on the edges and that it's you know under the skin. Even gonna use a little bit of black to really help like create some definition and to make it look as realistic as possible so that's how it's looking we are going to go in with some fixed blood and we are just going to start to paint some blood on there it doesn't have to be neat it's going to be messy being bitten by a shark <laughs> so we're going to paint blood all over that there and then we're going to go in with some fresh scratch this is chunky thicker blood so we're going to add that everywhere we added like the black and everything that's going to help make that meaty definition i'm going to try to pop it up under some of the silicon that's lifted to make it look as gruesome as possible so that's what we've got at the moment but we are not done i'm going to go wet my hair um, because I've been in the water, so obviously my head's wet. Then we're going to use some more blood. This is liquid blood, and I love using this. It's messy, but it's fun to play with. And we're going to add that into the bite marks to make it look like the blood is dripping from the wounds. Obviously, it would be dripping. It wouldn't just stay in the bite marks. And then I'm going to add that all over my hand and just pop it all over my shoulder and just put blood everywhere. It doesn't have to be... In certain places, it can be wherever you want it to be. So this is the final look, all bloodied up and everything. Um, so I had so much fun doing this. Hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to try it, just let me know how you go. Bye guys!